Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're going to do a quick unboxing of the Huawei Mate RS. Now this phone is not available in the US, so I picked it up from a spot in the UK called Clove Technology. And I'll leave the link for that up in the description. Now the price on this one, 1,427 GBP. Now if you transfer that to US dollars, that's 2,102 bucks. So that officially makes this the most expensive phone that I ever bought, even more expensive than the Mate 10 Pro Porsche Edition. Now if this phone is anything like that one, this is going to be my new favorite Android phone. Now on a side note, this is my second time recording this video, the first time I forgot to plug my mic in, so I'm doing a voiceover. Now I never did a voiceover video, so y'all got to bear with me. Alright, so let's go through the specs. Now the phone comes in two colors, you got black, and if you live in China, you could get red. Now for the display, you got a 6 inch Quad HD Plus AMOLED panel with a resolution of 1440 by 2880. Now that's 538 for the PPI Patrol. Now the phone is IP67 dust and water resistant. For the processor, you got a high silicone Kerwin 970 chipset with the Mali 672 MP12 GPU. What does that mean? Top of the line specs. Now you get 6 gigs of RAM and the phone is available in two storage versions. You got 256 gigs or 512 gigs of storage. Now the phone is running Android 8.1 Optimus Prime fresh out of the box with the EMUI 8.1 skin on top. Now you get dual stereo speakers with a 32 bit deck. Now you got a 4000 milliamp battery that features quick charge. Now Huawei claims you can charge the battery from 0 to 58% in 38 minutes. So about an hour for a full charge. Now for the cameras, on the rear you got a triple camera setup. So you got a 40 megapixel RGB lens, you get a 20 megapixel monochrome lens, and an 8 megapixel telephoto lens that's going to give you three times optical zoom. On the front you got a 24 megapixel camera that's f2.0. Now you get two fingerprint sensors, one on the back and one built into the display on the front. Now the phone features private space which is my favorite feature also known as thought protection. Now what's missing from this phone? Three things. Number one, no micro SD card slot for expandable memory. Number two, no headphone jack. And number three, no IR blaster. Now that's one thing I gotta be disappointed about. Shout out to Huawei, I like how they moving forward, but sometimes companies take two steps forward and one step back. They should have left the IR blaster. But anyway, Shout out to my brother Mook, he sent me some Versace glasses, so you know I gotta have a little toast, so we're drinking some wine from one of my favorite wineries over here on Sufton and Jamaica Avenue called Bob's Discount Wine. Alright, so we got some vintage 2018 Chablis. So as they say in the UK, cheers. Now like I said, I'm doing a voiceover, so I'm watching the video, I'm trying to narrate this as we go along. Now on the side note, once I pause the video to put my information in, it gets back to normal. Alright, so let's bust this open and see what it looks like. Typical presentation, nice black box. Y'all know I like a nice black box. Who doesn't? The box is the same as last year's uh, P20. Uh, last year's Mate 10 Pro. Alright, so here we go. So once you open it up, you're going to get your certificate of authenticity. Pluck it. File it into your pocket. Nothing really fancy with that. It does look nice. Has a little holographic sticker. It is what it is. Now, I wish y'all could have heard this video live because if y'all would have heard my reaction when I pulled this phone out, I try to recreate it. Woo! Look at that. Look at that the phone. It looks beautiful. Yeah, I'm playing around with the voiceover settings here. Anyway, phone looks very similar to the Mate 10 Pro, just a little bit more modern. What else? Now, inside the box, you got your leather case, the same as last year's version. I had to do the smell test. It does smell nice and fresh. Rock pluck that off shout out to white shoes now she popped up in the video i had already said it was her day off but she always liked to show up on her day off inside of the leather case nice felt material you know what it is now inside this box right here you got your usual books and shit nothing fancy and your sim ejection tool and one thing i forgot to mention you got your adapter for your headphone jack now if you notice there's one thing missing there's no car charger all right so you got your two uh international plugs this is going to be a micro USB charging cable. They actually give you two of them. And you get some black headphones that match the phone. Other than that, that's pretty much it. 
I don't know how people be doing voiceovers. I'd rather do it live, but it is what it is. I'm trying to just keep keep talking so it don't get uh, too stale. But Zerks was definitely trolling me. I had to follow to the side for the second half of the video. So basically, I showed y'all the uh, last year's Mate 10 Pro. It did come with a car charger. So this one was double the price with late, less features. I don't understand how that works. But it is what it is. Let's keep it moving. All right, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to drop all my information in, and we'll set it up, and we'll see how that front-facing fingerprint sensor works. I already tried it, though. It's crazy. And we'll go through the speakers. We'll go through the display. We'll go through all of the features, and we'll see what it is. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, y'all, so we back in. Now, I just put my information in the phone. I've been playing around with it for a few minutes, and I got to be honest with y'all. On a scale of 1 to 10, this phone is a major, 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 major go. This is my new favorite Android phone. Now, I'll do a separate video comparing the Galaxy S9 Plus to the Mate RS, but as of right now, I'm feeling the Mate RS a little bit more. Now, don't get me wrong. There's a few things that the Galaxy could do that the Mate can't. You got your always-on display with your custom images. You got your video lock screen, iris sensor, expandable memory, and a few other things. But with the Mate RS, you got a big giant 4,000 milliamp battery. You get 256 gigs worth of storage. You got a triple camera set up on the rear. You got the on-screen fingerprint sensor. You get thought protection. And most importantly, you get that exclusivityness, also known as the floss factor. Now, I know what some of y'all are going to say. If you got a Galaxy, you do got thought protection. It's not the same thing. All right, with the Galaxy, you got secure folders that you can open up with different fingerprints. But with the Mate RS, you can open up a whole different phone with your fingerprints. And I'll show you how to do that. All right, so real quick, let's go over all the basic stuff. Build quality. Now, the build quality on this phone is excellent. This is one of the most beautiful phones you're gonna see. You got the glass back. It is a fingerprint magnet. Let me wipe that down. But it does look beautiful. All right, look at that reflection. <sighs> Crazy. Now, you get wireless charge. All right, so let's check that out. Wireless charge on deck. Now, there's three ways you can open this phone. The phone does have facial unlock, so we're gonna try face unlock first. You see how fast that is? This is crazy, look at this. You can't even see that fingerprint icon on the front because the face unlock is just too fast. Now, you can also unlock it using the rear fingerprint. Okay, now, y'all know Huawei makes some of the best fingerprints in the game. This one is no different. So there's your rear fingerprint sensor. Now check this out. Now I'm gonna try not to look at the phone. You see that little fingerprint symbol on the front? Now we can open it up using the fingerprint from the front screen. Why is that important? If you got your phone on a car charger or you got a wireless car dock, you're gonna love that feature. Now I don't care about iris sensors, rear facing fingerprints. You can't open the phone when it's on the dock while you're driving using your irises or using a rear fingerprint sensor. Now you can open it up using the front fingerprint. That is insane. I Basically, no other phone is doing that right now. Blue has a phone coming out, but as of today, this is the only one. And it works 100% of the time. All right, so you got face unlock. Look, look at that, <laughs> this is crazy. Pops open so fast. Now let's talk about the display. Now I'll, uh, keep in mind, I'll do a full video on this after about a week. Let me look at that bong. Let's make sure we got, uh, let's get maximum brightness. Quad HD display finally on the Mate series. Beautiful. Great viewing angles. I'll take it out in the sun and we'll put it to the test. But as of right now, it's crazy. Let's go over to YouTube. Let's take it over to Bike Life and we'll check out the speakers. All right, here we go, Bike Life. Let's get full screen. Look at that display. Now we cover up the bottom speaker. Still hear music coming from the top. Listen to this. The display looks beautiful and the speakers sound incredible. Are you gonna like that? All right, let's exit out of this. Now on a side note, I've been using the Mate 10 Pro Porsche Edition as one of my flagship heavy hitters for the last couple of months. And one of the best things about that phone is the camera. So now with the Mate RS, you got the triple camera set up and let me tell you something, I've only been playing around with it for a few minutes, but this camera is amazing. 
All right, now some of my favorite cameras, Google Pixel 2 XL, iPhone 10, Galaxy S9 Plus, and the Mate 10 Pro Porsche Edition. This might be the best one. Now let me pull up the camera real quick. Now I'll go through all of the different modes when I do the full review, but check this out. Now this is point and shoot. No settings, no pro mode, no playing with any features. Just point and shoot in portrait mode. Look how beautiful that picture came out. Now keep in mind, this has the AI scene selections, so that's gonna differentiate between food, cats, dogs, nature scenes, grass, trees, and it's automatically gonna apply the best settings. Trust me when I tell you, it works. All right, it works flawlessly. All right, let's go to settings real quick and see if there's anything we need to look at. Let's go to device connections. All right, you got easy projection. All right, so you can connect this to your computer or connect it to a monitor, turn it into a projector. We'll play with that. You got mirror share, you got your printer. Let's go to our battery. Check this out. Now, if you put it in power saving mode, right now I got 28%. Power saving mode will give me seven hours and four minutes, and ultra power saving mode will give me two days and seven hours. All right, that's pretty crazy. And this also has the AI that's gonna select different apps to uh, close out in the background and maximize your battery life. That's one of the best things I love about that Mate 10 Pro. That battery has never died on me in an eight hour day, never. Now, of course, this one has a quad HD display, so I'm assuming the battery life is gonna be a little bit less but still, 4,000 milliamps with quick charge and wireless charge. Let's see anything else. Let's go to our display. All right, all your standard display settings, you have your floating apps. Let's go to smart assistants. All right, so of course you got one hand mode. Let's go to motion controls. All right, so you got your flip to mute. You got your pick up. You got your raise to your ear. Now check this out. You got your knuckle gestures. All right, we went through this before. Double tap on the knuckle. That's gonna get you a screenshot. You can also scroll shot. Now, if you want to do split screen, you draw a line, and that's going to open up your script, uh, your split screen apps. That's pretty dope. And check this out. Now, you also have knuckle gestures that are associated with apps. So, say I want to open up my music app. I'm going to draw the letter M. And look how fast that takes me right to music. This phone is packed full of features. I'm not going to go over all of them right now. Like I said, when I do the full review, if there's anything specific y'all want me to cover, we'll cover that up. Now, one thing, of course, I can't do a mate phone without showing y'all thought protection. All right, what is thought protection, a.k.a. private space? Two phones built into the same phone. All right, so I'm going to open this phone up using my regular fingerprint. Let's go to Instagram. Hold up. Let me just make sure. No thoughtness on, on display. See, as soon as I opened up Instagram, there was a little thoughtness. All right, here we go. All right, so here's my Instagram. All right, so I can scroll through Instagram. Let's go home. You see, this is my actual page. All right, let's open up Facebook. This is my actual Facebook page. Now, let me show you how thought protection works. I'm gonna lock the display. Now I'm gonna open it using a different fingerprint. All right, here we go. Now, you see it's gonna open up. Now, if you notice, here's Instagram. No Instagram on file. Let's go to Facebook. No Facebook logged in. Let's go to camera. All right, the camera's not even set up yet. Let's enable everything. Now let's try to go to camera. Let's try to see the last picture that I took. No last picture. Now my phone is fully thought protected. Now check this out. I'm gonna close it back up. Now I'm gonna open it with my regular fingerprint again. Now it takes a few seconds. It's not the fastest transition in the world, but now I'm back to my regular phone. Let's go to Instagram. Here's my regular Instagram again. Shout out to Calico. Here's my regular Facebook. Let's go to camera. And here's my last picture that I took. Fellas, ladies, you can't beat that feature. Now with your Galaxy S9 or your S9 Plus, you do have your private folders. You can open up to a fingerprint, have your different apps. But trust me, there's nothing better than opening up a separate finger to a whole nother phone. I would buy any Mate phone specifically just for that feature. Anyway, let's slap on the case. Let me show you what it looks like. Now this case looks a little bit different than the Mate 10 Pro Porsche Edition. Looks a little bit more shiny, a little bit more leatherish, but I'm assuming it has the same functionality. All right, so we'll slap this one on. Now once you put the case on, you don't have to do anything. It's automatically gonna show you your weather, your time, your date, and it's gonna, uh, I gotta, uh, it's gonna keep track of how many steps you take during the day. Open it up. 
bring you to your home screen. Close it back up. Let's try the facial unlock. Look at that face unlock. Crazy. Now, this is one of my favorite cases. When you travel, another thing that's dope, the same thing happens in your Galaxy S9 Plus. I just learned it for the first time. When you go out of town or you go in a different time zone, you see right here where you got your time, it's automatically going to set your home time and the current time zone that you're at. So this way, when you want to call back home, you don't want to wake nobody up in the middle of the night. You somewhere it's 5 o'clock in the morning and somewhere else it's 2, 2, 2, 1, 1, 2 o'clock in the morning. This is going to automatically show you. It does the same thing on your Galaxy phones too. Anyway, overall, fresh out of the box, Mate RS on a scale of 1 to 10. This is a quad go. All right? This is a quad go. That's the highest ranking on my, on my scale. Let me wipe this down one more time. This phone is so dope. Now, is this phone worth $2,000? Of course not. Even though it is the Porsche, you know, Porsche design, even though it is maximum exclusivityness, the chances of you being somewhere and somebody else having the same phone as you, slim to none. Now, I've been rocking that Porsche edition, the Mate 10 Pro. I still haven't seen anybody with one yet. So if that's something that you like, having that exclusivityness, having that uniqueness, having your floss factor go through the roof, then that's something you want to look at. But is this phone really worth 2,000 bucks, even though it has 256 gigs worth of storage or 512? The answer is no. All right, of course not. But you got to pay to play, so let's play. Anyway, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this. And like I said, if there's anything y'all want me to cover specifically in the full review, let me know. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google+. Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Foxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time. 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know. Stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys allowed. Oh yeah. Special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat, Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad, I'll see y'all in the comment section early, hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing, I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me, all y'all haters, all y'all trolls, Close your eyes and picture me rolling. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. Enterprise, Spock here. Spock, one to beam up. Captain. Enterprise out. Energize. <laughs>